<laughs> this guy's toast. In the King's absence, Bolvar kept the Alliance united. He found strength for our people in our darkest hours. He watched over Anduin, raising him as his own. You've stolen, traitor! Boldly stated, but there is nothing you can... What? <laughs> Did you think we had forgotten? Did you think we had forgiven? Behold now, the terrible vengeance of the Forsaken! To the scourge and death to the living! Is the hour of the Forsaken. We're finished. No escape for any of us.
father. Is it over? At long last. No king rules forever, my son. I see. Only darkness before me. Master's command, the restless scourge will become an even greater threat to this world. Control must be maintained. There must always be a Lich King. Such a burden. It must be mine, for there is no other. Tyrion! You hold a grim destiny in your hands, brother, but it is not your own. Bolva! By all that is holy, the dragon's flame sealed my fate. The world of the living can no longer comfort me. Place the crown upon my head, Tyrion. Forevermore, I will be the jailer of the damned. No, old friend. I cannot. Do it, Tyrion! You and these brave heroes have your own destinies to fulfill. This last act of service is mine. I was cast out by my comrades, exiled, forced to wander the frozen wastes. But I was not alone, not entirely. The voice, now my only companion, guided me to my destination. Strange, nightmarish creatures awaited me at the entrance. I felt my blood run cold, as cold as Ice Crown itself. Inside, I bore witness to horrific acts, demonstrations of power, power that could be mine for the asking. <laughs> Terrified, I ran, but did not get far. All too soon, my choice was made. Too late did I realize that such power does not come without a price. Minions, servants, soldiers of the cold dark, obey the call of Kel'Thuzad. Hey, lights out.